welcome back to another video in this one we want to integrate bootstrap into our project okay so you can go about designing your own ui in most cases you will want to use something that will enhance or accelerate that process so bootstrap is one of the most used frameworks that helps in designing the look and feel of your website okay or your application so in this one we will look at how to integrate that in our project if you are not yet a subscriber consider subscribing so that you will not miss videos like this so as usual we've already typed all the codes and you can get them from the stock management series okay so now uh, that is video number 11 how to add bootstrap to django without cdn i'm gonna make another video using bootstrap with cdn okay but in this one we will not use the cdn okay and the cdn is the links that are provided for us if you want to implement bootstrap in your project and without downloading the actual files okay these files will be running on another server while you incorporate the links on your site so with that you will not have to download the files into your own hosting platform right but in this video we will look at how to download all those files and host them ourselves okay then integrate them in our website okay so the first step is to look for the the style or the template that you want to use okay so bootstrap have a lot of different different type of examples and this is the link to those example all right bootstrap.com slash doc slash 404 slash examples all right so i'm going to scroll down and look at the design or the template that i want to use and then customize it for that to meet my style okay so i'm going to scroll down and look at the examples to choose all right so i want to use the nav bar fixed i'm going to click on that so this is the format that i want to use i'm going to right click on an empty space and then click view page source all right so if you look closely there is this bootstrap core css that we are interested in and that is the link so what i will do is i want to save the content of this bootstrap.main.css so to do that i'm gonna click on it right click and then click save as i'm gonna navigate to my css folder in the static file of the application All right so we have our application in the youtube directory venv src then the application start management you have static and then css so i'm gonna save this right here and i'm gonna go back i have one more to save so we just saved the bootstrap.main.css so i'm gonna scroll down on this line we have custom style for this template so we need this one as well okay so i'm gonna click on the navbar top fix.css and do the same thing i'm gonna do a right click save us and click save so we grab those two css files from the bootstrap website okay so if you scroll all the way down there is this bootstrap.bundle.min.js so i'm gonna click that one as well right click then click save as so since this is a js file we've already created a folder for all the javascript documents okay so i'm gonna go back to static and then go into the js and then click save I'm gonna close this one and then head back so the next step is to save this template okay I'm gonna select ctrl a copy and then open sublime all right so now I have a home page if I open the application I'm gonna go to localhost so this is our application okay now we want to change this page to look like the bootstrap template that we just copied okay after copying this code i'm gonna paste it in the home page all right so this is the home page so i'm gonna click down here paste the bootstrap code right below the existing code i have now i want to copy this line the css file that we incorporated in the last video copy it and then replace it right here so this is the bootstrap core css so the syntax is not going to be like this it's going to be like the static file that we have in the previous video all right so let me give that a space so i'm going to create a copy of this line and replace it with this i'm going to replace the style sheet all right this integrity is there to add some security to this file 
but uh, since this is a basic Django tutorial, we will not go into those kind of security details. But just to make it simple, I'm gonna erase this line. Okay, and we have our two CSS files. So this is the CSS we've created ourselves, and this is the Bootstrap CSS that we downloaded. And make sure it is downloaded in the CSS folder. So this is in CSS slash Bootstrap CSS, and to confirm that it is right there. You have to look into the static CSS and you have to see that file bootstrap.main.css right so that we're good on that so for the fav icons I'm gonna remove it I want to make this page very simple okay so our title I'm gonna change it and call it home so I'm gonna delete this line we also have our header right here I'm gonna remove the header as well all right so the I'm gonna move the title and the test it and paste it somewhere in the body so now if I look at that uh, site I want to paste uh, the content within this element okay so the element is usually called jumbotron so we're gonna look at that class and then paste the content in it so I'm gonna go back to sublime and look for jumbotron I'm gonna scroll down right so that's jumbotron right there and this is the example navbar example so within this Div, I'm gonna paste the title somewhere right here. Okay, so if I save it and refresh my application, you can see it looks so much close to this one that we have right here. All right, so now what I want to do is to replace nav by example with the title. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that and paste it right here. So I'm gonna remove the test. All right, so we have our site looking as we want. All right, good. Welcome. This is the home page. All right. Okay, so we've implemented Bootstrap on our application. So now to show you that the file is being loaded from our local directory, what I will do is to rename this file up here. All right. So this is Bootstrap the main CSS. I'm gonna add S right there. Save it, and then Control Refresh. You can see our site just get distorted okay so i'm gonna undo that save it and then refresh back with a control refresh so this is how to implement bootstrap on your application but what i will do before end this video is to replicate the same on the rest of the pages or oh, before we go we need to delete this uh body and the html since we already have it right there okay so i'm gonna save it and do exactly the same for the at list of items and also the add items okay i'm gonna copy the code again from right there all the way down copy and i'm gonna paste it right down so i always want to paste it below and then start moving the pieces that i want so in the header i already have that i have the style sheet and the bootstrap so i'm gonna remove those two with the header I need the information to be loaded in the body of the application so I'm gonna copy this or maybe cut it and then paste it right where I have the p tag I'm gonna paste it right there okay paste it here save it and then delete the rest of my old HTML elements all right so I'm gonna save it and then go to list items Voila. so you can see this page also is designed the way we want it so we have one more page which is the add items so I'm gonna copy the content again and paste it in add items then copy the content I want from the add item which is the form I'm gonna copy the form and paste it within the body I'm gonna paste it right here Let's see whether we have any more to copy. So that's all I have. I want to delete the rest of the elements. Save it and then check that out. I notice that we need to have some space. If you look at the original site or original template or the example, we have some space padding up here and in our application we don't have that styling up there okay so 
we are missing uh, one CSS file that we need to reference which is the fixed nav bar styling and we have it right here so I'm gonna copy this line again paste it just below that so that I can reference it copy this and replace the both tab that main that CSS delete that and I'm gonna copy all of this line and paste it in the rest of the pages so I'm gonna confirm that this is loaded alright so we have the space up there so I'm gonna do the same thing for list items right here I'm gonna replace this line save it and for the home as well all right so i want to confirm that that style is implemented on all the pages all right we have it for the home page and let's check the add items all right we have it on add items how about the list items all right so this is how to implement bootstrap in your django applications so if you are enjoying this video please click on the like button if you have any corrections you can leave them in the comments below otherwise see you in the next one